Got another exam question walkthrough for A level chemistry. So, this is aromatic chemistry number 20. If you want to check out the other videos in this playlist, I'll put the link to that at the top of the screen now. So, the question deals with the electrophilic substitution mechanism, directing groups, and there's an application of the reactions and reactivity of phenol. Hope you liked the video, hope you find it helpful, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love you to do so. But as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So part A starts with a definition test. An electrophile is an electron pair acceptor. And then moving on to the mechanism. So the first thing we're going to do is generate the electrophile. So that's this CH3, CH2 plus ion. So that's formed by reacting the catalyst with the chloroethane and it gives us these two ions here. So we then bring in the benzene ring and the electrophile. We take a pair of electrons from the edge of the delocalized ring of pi electrons to that positive carbon. And that gives us the intermediate there. Just a couple of things here. We've got to try and cover five of the six carbons with this partial electron cloud. And obviously don't forget your positive charge. And then the next part of the mechanism, we take a curly arrow from the CH bond back in to reform the delocalized ring of pi electrons. So there's the ethyl benzene formed. This hydrogen, when it breaks off, is in the form of an H plus ion. And then the last part of the mechanism is just to show the role of the catalyst. So we take the AlCl4 minus ion, react it with that H plus ion that's just formed, and we get the catalyst back, and we make the other product of a reaction HCl. Moving on to part B, we've got to show the monosubstituted products for these two reactions. So obviously we've got to consult the table to see what effect, what direct effect the um, substituent group's got. So this CN group here, we can see it's in the three direct and column, which means that the product looks like that. So you could have put the chlorine over there if you'd wanted to. And because this group here is two and four direct in, we're going to have two possible products here. So there's your two product, and there's your four product. And for the next part, just a reminder of the reaction between bromine and phenol, where you get the tri substituted product. So we get this two, four, six tribromophenol and three moles of HBr. So all we've got to do is apply that to this um, phenylamine molecule. So there's the equation for that. And for the last part, we're going to explain why chlorine reacts more readily with phenylamine than with benzene. You'll notice I've drawn up a phenol molecule there. Just as a little reminder, there's a lone pair on that oxygen and it becomes delocalized into the pi electron system of the benzene ring. So in phenylamine, you've got a nitrogen there and there's a lone pair of electrons on there, just like on the O of phenol. So in terms of what to write, we just need to start by saying a lone pair on the nitrogen of the phenylamine is delocalized into the pi system of the benzene ring. So that makes the electron density of the ring higher than in benzene alone. And then just finish off by saying phenylamine can therefore attract, or you could say polarize the chlorine molecule more strongly.